Emmanuel Onyango, I'm the Corporate Affairs Manager at Agilis Partners. Uh, Agilis Partners is the umbrella company that uh, has sub-companies such as Asili Farms, which is the farming division, and then uh, the Joseph Initiative, which is the grain handling division of Agilis Partners. Uh, we've been in operation in Uganda since 2013, and uh, uh, we, have, we, we have operations in different districts. We have operations in Amuru, uh, in Kiriandongo, and in Masindi. Then we have a processing facility in uh, Kasese. Uh, so basically what we do here is what we call conservation agriculture. So conservation agriculture is uh, the type of farming whereby you know, we do minimal disturbance of the soil and at any one point we ensure that uh, we have at least some form of cover in the soil. And so uh, one thing, what, one advantage that we have with this kind of farm also thrive is much more well. <laughs> We do minimum tillage and also we ensure that uh, at any one point we maintain enough uh, soil cover as possible. And so one, one advantage that this has is that it cuts down costs. For, for instance, uh, here in, in Kiriandongo, uh, the amount of money that farmers spend, for instance, on, on, on plowing one, on, on plow, on plowing one, one acre, for instance, is about 120,000 if they use a tractor. But then we know that they can use, uh, for instance, uh, conservation agriculture, whereby they will need about uh, two liters of herbicides to just clear a field, and two liters is about uh, about 28,000. So, and then you add in the cost of, let's say, maybe spray. Here in uh, Kiriandongo, they spray about, uh, I think it's uh, uh, 1,000 shillings per 20 liters. And so you see that you know you've cut off the costs of you know preparing the garden, for instance. And so you can also plant early because um, you, you don't need to wait, for instance, for the rains to come because you are not plowing the ground. And so we are trying to make sure that um, Asili Farms or Agilis is uh, a knowledge transfer center. So we also invite farmers like twice uh, a year, that is before before every planting season, so that they can you know prepare for the uh, season adequately. And also, uh, our mission really is to empower Ugandans to feed Africa. So, And that is something that we are so passionate about. And that's why we've established a farmer support program uh, where you know, we support key farmers you know, based on their you know, cultivation history. Because we keep every farmer that we interact with, we keep all their data. We know um, how much, for instance, they've been cultivating, how much they've been selling and that kind of thing. So then we are able to support them. Uh, improve and also we track uh, the increase in their yields year on year and so we've seen really that uh, there's been an increase in terms of the yield per acre that uh, farmers are able to get and and we are really proud of that and we are trying to expand that that project you know to different parts of the country as much as possible okay yes. thank you so much sir You're okay. So where did you learn driving this tractor? Huh? Where did you learn from? Uh, Kenya. Kenya? Yeah. Uh, for how long? Uh, okay. Okay. So um, how many acres can you plant in a day using this machine? Uh, eight. Eight acres? Eight, 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 eight hectares. Eight hectares. Eight wow. Yeah. And uh, how did you learn to use uh, the GPS? And how useful is the GPS? Yeah. How useful is the GPS? GPS. Yeah. GPS is the premier. Okay. Come on, bring it here. Yeah. Then I come out of the car. Okay. Line. Yes. Mm. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, in this uh, machine, uh, this is a combined harvester, it 
is uh, GPS enabled, so it's a precision combine harvester. And um, these are new machines here in Uganda, but uh, we are trying to expose uh, teachers, students, and everyone uh, to such machines because we believe when teachers are exposed to such initiatives, you can see there is a friend teacher outside there, they get to teach uh, their lessons relating them to agriculture. So this uh, machine here uh, has a lot of mathematics, has a lot of physics, geography, and so many other subjects. So um, this is a, a combiner harvester. We don't have so many here in Uganda, but we are using uh, whatever is available to do the right training. So yes, so thank you, Muzei, for the lesson. Yeah, rotation. Good afternoon, Nyabo. Uh, what is your name? Okay, um, I'm seeing you driving this uh, tractor. Uh, how did you learn and where did you learn this tractor from? I learned it from the school. From the, the school? Training school. Which training school specifically? The yes, sir. Okay. Uh, for how long have you been driving uh, such tractors? Like six years. Six years? Eh? So uh, when you are at school, did you use these very machines, no. these very tractors, or the, the ordinary ones? No. Uh, you, you were using the ordinary ones. So, when did you learn to use such tractors? Like this one here. Yeah, this is John Deere here that has a GPS. Uh, 2016. 2016. So you have been driving this tractor for the last five years. So how? Easy or difficult is it from the ordinary tractor? It's easy, but like this one, it is automatic. It is, it is automatic, automatic eh? Uh, eh? There are no gears involved, changing gears and everything. Eh? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, what else is good with this machine? Everything is inside. Okay. AC. There's AC. Okay. Uh, what else? Not very many things because it cannot disturb you. If yeah. there's anything warning, it will just sit from here. Okay. Okay. So, do you advise? Uh, would you advise young ladies to get training for using of tractors? Yeah. But why? It's not very difficult. It is not very difficult. So you enjoy this. Uh, you find peace in it and everything. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Nyabo, for giving us your time. I can now jump off.